Which one? You, uh, can you hear the fireworks? Yeah, right. No, no, you can. Uh, it's still it's still going on outside. It's um, very noisy and it's kind of Chinese, you know, Chinese tradition to you know to say goodbye to the loved ones. They want to make it you know make it noisy and happy, some happy, so that so that it's just, um, the late one can you know um, happily cross over and you know just go to another world without. Um, you know, without th thinking too much about the family and just, just cross over. Um, well, it's a, in a Chinese culture, uh, tradition, traditional Chinese culture, it's default, uh, you know, default thinking. Default thinking. People think that after people die, they, um, well, they will, they will always do the ceremony, you know, to, um, to say goodbye to their loved ones, and they think that most people. I, I think most people think that um, the spirits will go to another dimension, and they will. Well, it's in a traditional Chinese culture. They think that. They will, um, they will come back. They, they will go to the, um, not heaven. They will go to the underworld and they will come back in another form, um, whether as a human being or, or another animal or something. I, I, I believe you know that it's, um, it's like, yeah, re reincarnation, right. Shrines. Um, the um, most of them they have a uh, they have a tomb and they would um, decorate the tomb like it's a house for the for the late ones. Um, um, yeah, outside the field, mostly uh, on the hills, on the mountains. I I can see many many of them. Um, but uh, but nowadays many city people would like. To you know, uh, increment the body and you know, and put ashes on the shrine. And but traditionally, they still won't be buried rather than be burned because yeah, it's scary because they they would like the body intact after after death, not you know into ashes, not burned into ashes. Some people, yeah, many, well, many people do that, many, especially in the rural areas. Um, like, for example, um, my, my uncle, my, from my mother's, mother's side, he got ill last, uh, last month, and they would think there maybe it's a, either, either my grandparents somehow, maybe they won't, they are hunting them, uh, they're hunting them, and so that got sick. So they would, they would uh, burn some, you know, some money. Um, not actually money. It's um, it's like um, the middle of paper. Re really like the real money, but it's uh, they call it um, how how to say under under word money. It looks like just money. And so um, yeah, they would to you know do some like like ceremony of sacrifice to burn some paper money. So, and uh, it's like temperature. It's like a, it's like to comfort the late ones, the, the spirits, so that well, so that uh, my uncle can get well again. And most of them, or well, most people, especially in small town like this, believe that if they got sick and they feel weird, probably they they will think about you know your your the late spirit is haunting me or something. They, yeah, yeah.
kind of like that, right? And, and there is something. Um, do you remember I told you um, one of my uncle died of um, uh, electricity accident? And before that, before uh, the night before the accident, my my aunt actually had a dream. Um, she said his father, his father is the, is telling them that he's taking away his husband, her husband. I'm sorry. Um, uh, her father is taking was taking away her husband. And they just thought it was a dream, and so they didn't get. You know, didn't pay much attention, I guess. And it was in the morning, and my aunt is, you know, just doing some routine work for preparing for lunch. And all of a sudden, there, that happened. So they would think that they didn't, they, they would regret that they didn't pay attention to this dream. Well, in my small, in my small town, people, a lot of people live in dreams, even. Even my classmates, they would, um, they would think they, they would believe in dreams. I guess is a traditional thing. Um, I wouldn't really. Um, what is? Um, and my mom is calling. Me. I I should get this. Can I get it? My cell phone. Wait, wait. What are we? Oh, that didn't go too well. That are you most of you? No, most of them. No, that didn't go too Okay. All right. Um, should it? Well, it's a local dialect. It's um, it's um, uh, it's uh, country needs, I guess, because the town is called country. The city, a small city, Guangxi. So it's a local dialect, so it should be called Guangxi. I guess. Uh, only Mandarin and my local language, my local dialect. And yeah. Yeah, most uh, yeah, Mandarin is just like you know, um, it's like standard English in, in the United States, and and is um, most people speak that, right? And for some people, some old gen, some people from old generation, they don't speak Mandarin that much. And they can understand that, but they don't got, they don't, you know, they don't get to speak that much, so. The, the the Mandarin is not very good. I was eighteen um, last summer, and I was turning. I think I was turning nineteen. I. I, I can't really remember. It's I think it's an eighteen. Um, yeah, just blink of eye, and it's so fast, just so fast. I can't believe that. Yeah. Right, and um, eighteen. It's eighteen or no. um. I, I, um. I. It's that's really many, but it's a long time, I guess. On my options, I, I'm thinking um, I kind of narrow down my options. I, it possibly, uh, as I told you before, I could do teacher. I could do the t teaching thing. Um, hopefully, uh, maybe um, about secondary school. And I hope my 
well, my idea, my idea, idea, um, my ideal um, goal is uh, to teach in college, if possible, and um, and to be specific, I have this uh, in field of psychology because um, it's uh, it's my key interest, and also I could do if I go to work for a corporation or company. Probably I can do the training job, um, and thirdly, I guess I can do some part-time job for interpreting. Um, for interpreting, for interpreting, for translating. Yes, and after after. Exploring, exploration on this for the past few years of my job, I guess. I, I know myself much better than before that I should do something, um, not that, you know, intertwined with interest and profits. And I should do, I would rather do some, you know, non-profit work. And I'm not good at, you know, doing business or something with money. I think I'm a, I, I think I'm a professional type, not a business type. Although I, right, and I, I never put that in my um, priority at least. So. My age group, um, well, it's a, it's really, um, it's much more obvious in the cities and in the, in the rural areas, you know, because the, um, because the advanced education that the new China is offering compared to the education our parent generation had before is, um, it's, because education is quite different, and most uh, most of the generation from my mom's um, peers, they don't have they don't have really formal education. Mostly they have, well, and um, high school would be a really good, you know, a high school graduation would be a really good certificate for them. And my mom just my mom just graduated from primary school because she um. Because she is the the oldest in um in family um she, instead around siblings because she's the oldest and she kind of gave up her right to get further education because they only have um the my mom have five let me see um have five um yeah five there are five. The, uh, the, she got, sorry, she got, she's got, um, four siblings, um, and the only, and the family, and the family could only afford to, you know, to, uh, offer one child's education, that would be my, my, my aunt, my second, my second aunt, we called, um, yeah, my second aunt went to the college. She's a, she was the only one who went to the college. And, well, my, my uncle is, uh, is the youngest, um, in the youngest around my mom's siblings. And she, uh, he, I'm sorry, he's not really, um, interested in education, schooling. He, um, uh, he went to the army. He went to the, uh, he joined the army and at very, Young age and and most people do that for a you know for a living you know to join the army and they get and they got a job after the serving. So um, my my second aunt is um, the, was the only one who went to the college and she works she works she works and I believe she worked very hard. 
for for a long time. She still she still is working very hard. Um, and because it's much now, China now, nowadays is much more, uh, open and globalized. So, and the, you know, the availability of the internet and all the media resource, resources can, you know, just make this country, it's like a land of no boundary connected to the world. And it's much more, it's much more, um, um, you can see there's much more freedom than, than in my mom's generation. They, they were into culture. She was, um, she was raised, she was, she was raised um, around the culture revolution time at that time. So the culture at that time was really conservative. You can't, you couldn't speak really, um, you couldn't speak publicly against the leaders or talk about politics. And so kind of this atmosphere at that time was really hard for them to be open and be free thinking. And so that affect most of them, I guess. So uh, most of my, my parents' generation are really conservative and, and, um, and so uh, that very really distinctive that's really distinctive um I guess um differentiation from our generation because we grew up in a open a open and an open culture after the uh, the policy of um reform and op the opening and reform policy by the by the former chairman at um it was a long long time ago and China opened up the gates and and embraced the world culture. So, and there is a um so um the direct the direct effect will be the the first of the economy and and along the as a side effect of that, the material um, culture is boosting, and our, you know, our our inner world, our mental world, is also affected by that. I guess because because um, there's well, at my mom's my mom's generation, there was never really enough food, enough. All your enough um, clothes. You got a, some allowance every month. You you can't you know you can't just go to a market and or store or a even a convenience store to buy anything you want. You got allowance. You know you got some. Um, um, you just got a ticket. You got a ticket for a, a pound. Yeah, a a pound of. Um, a pan of meat or a bag of rice. You you can't buy anything, anything you want. Even you have money. Well, at that time it was really. But nowadays they there's always um, there's excessive material, excessive goods. You can anything if you have money. You you don't have to worry that you can't buy something. Even well, it's quite different world. It's quite different world now. We, it's just like some there's some rich people can can get fancy gadgets or anything they want. They can get a well they can get a even get a trip to the well to the stars or to the moon. That would be really not that that's really um that's possible and yeah, so it's possible now nowadays. And where was I? Um that's uh Yeah, and um, and that I think that affect people's 
value to the to the um, outside world that they will think that、uh, money is really important, money is priority, and if you got money, you don't have to worry about anything. And even well, it's really obvious nowadays around my peers that some people would it's um it's what we call re- realism or realistic. You have to be rich. You have to be um you have to be in uh first if um if you want to get married, you have to. Prepare a lot of money before, otherwise、um, the family members of the female part wouldn't really agree that. It's quite real. Not exactly.、Um, we well, it's not exactly obvious that、uh, as a as a statistics. Suggest that there are few there are fewer women nowadays in China, but um um it's not that obvious that what we really think about it. But、um, you do have to you do have to be um um how do I, how do I put that? You do have to be advanced. You have to you do have to have advantage. For material, the material side to get married well, because nowadays the the girls are really realistic. They can't just marry because she loves you. You had even my best friend, even my best friend, who's a girl in my college, and well, I know from I know they they have this um they are good person, but they wouldn't. It wouldn't just、uh, settle for the ideal dreams. It was, you know, it was still the real, the real reason, the real world would still affect the,、uh, the outcome. I guess the value of marriage and and、uh, the life after marriage. And I think that would be the subconscious psyche. They wouldn't really. They would just think. They would also.、Uh, yes, they would、um, certainly. They would certainly worry about the future. Ah, 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 worry about security of the of the of、uh, the married li- married life, I guess. But、um, not not mostly not about the job part. Not about the job part. You can still get a job if you have children. It's it's not about that, but but the whole atmosphere, the whole environment of the value of materialism gives them this. It's like、um, it's just like inception, or it's just like inception. It's a value instilled into your brain, and you are affected unconsciously. She wasn't like that before in college, but she still, you know, you can still change in the real life, I guess. She's, um, she's uh planning to marry. She not. She's I guess she engaged to、um, a guy, and such coincidence. This guy is from my hometown, and it's just such. But I think she deserves better, and I don't know. She still got this. Um, you know, many girls. She like one of them. Many girls when they get older, before you know, around thirty, you know, after twenty five, they still really worry about marriage, because in the traditional culture, they were thinking if you, after thirty you are still single. There must be something wrong with you. <laughs> There is this unconscious. Well, it's like the fourth value of how people think about you.
unless you a unless you have some proper reason, proper excuse, like you are female boss of the of a really big company, or if you a a supervisor that's really value your own job rather than marriage. Well, unless that people will think that there's something wrong with you. Oh yes, I I think the coin is leftover woman. Yes, yeah, yes, that's yes. I I believe you sent this uh, news, the piece of news, to me before, and it was I think it's it's published in China Daily, I guess, or the New York, New York Times. It's a phenomenon. It's a phenomenon so obvious, right? You know, and Yes, I was certainly. You can't imagine. It's like you. Well, if you. Well, if you put into this um this change into a documentary, you would think this this drastic change or obvious change is like. Uh, it's like um, well, which happened maybe around the two hundred years ago in other countries. Just happened. For a few, for you know, maybe a decade, some decades in China, I guess it's um because the, I guess because the economy was you know boosting really fast, so that uh, it's just it's just like it was like Japan's country before that the the under you know the the underground economy uh, economy foundation. Was well, really solid, but the culture is really, but the culture was not that you know was not keeping pace with the development of the economy. So there is a gap between this, between this. Um, I think there is a gap between the development of the the mental the mental world of our culture and the foundation of the economy. And Well, it's just like you said that, like what you said. Yes, people that wouldn't that wouldn't be too much for them to think other than money because it's like money is this it is the is the priority is is top of this and top of the everything you should have. Like um, well, it's like you. The three thing that you should have for success or something, you people just don't think too much. They just um, they, they they are affected by the whole culture thing that they wouldn't. Yes, the you know, the public's interest and attention certainly it's not around the public. It's not around the politics or democracy. Mostly, 
it's around money. Uh, so there's no time for them to think about this. They, it's never, um, it's just like never occurred to them that this they should think about, think about uh, to be an activist or to do some work for democracy. Mostly, and mostly they don't, they don't have some um, ideas. And you know, I I don't think so. They don't deliberately manipulate anything. Actually, they try to. As actually, it's kind of it's kind of out of hand to the, the materialism. The materialism is kind of it's kind of out of hand because they didn't expect that because they. The think the socialist society should have a value for a spiritual um, prosperity rather than materialism. But yes, yes, and actually they can had this policy to control this. Um, this um, um the vulgar culture like the dating show the dating TV show you know it's really phenomenon is um they didn't expect so much materialism and um, for you know this and uh, and uh, pornography I guess is another thing they didn't expect that and that is so yeah, it's kind of out of the hand to control, and so they have to. Yes, yes, and and it's not just pornography. Pornography just the reflection of people's mind. They are so open that, as some news you you saw many years ago, well, Chinese youngsters um, are more open than American young people. They can, they can have random sex without thinking about too much protection because it's, and that's why it's so thin. Um, yes, that's what I, um, that's what I see from a, a news published by a United States uh, exchange student who had uh, who stayed a long time in China and she think that it's I forgot is he or she but in the newspaper in the in the news she obviously suggests that and um, young people in China are much more you know open than they thought than they well. And uh, this, um, it will look, you know, it looks conservative, but it's not, it's just so, well, it's so, um, and unbelievably, they are unbelievably open. So I kind of, I don't really get into that part, but I can picture that from, um, from my cousins and my, my, oh, most, most of my friends don't do that, but I can get some picture from my my relatives. My I I mean some of my some of my relatives, my cousins, some of them would do such things, but my friend, my close friend, wouldn't do that. I. Yeah. Yes. And um, well, they go to to get a room. They get a room. It's just like nowadays, just like the the same 
in the English. Get a room. Well, they will certainly get a room if they got, you know, if they want to make, if they want to make out. <laughs> and, well, it's, um, it was so, uh, it's not that, it's not something that they won't cover because, um, in the chatting group, in the chat rooms, it's so, it's so, uh, direct. And so the language of direct and the intention of direct and people are much more desire driven than before. I can see from that. I personally joined some groups and I found out that most people can have some, um, explicit language for desires. And it wouldn't, they wouldn't feel ashamed to hide the desire and do, I think it's just like, it, it's like justified and, and, and it kind of, they do everything they want, whatever they want. Yeah, the hotel. Yes, right, and and so um, and also I guess it's um it's uh, it has to do something has something to do with what you had mentioned before some one chat policy and so people get spoiled and children get spoiled by parents and they will do everything they want and they get every, whatever they want so sex is kind of so it's can it's it's even, it's like less expensive than the iPhone. You know something? Yes. And speaking of iPhone, I, I told you before, some crazy kid would, sit, would sell the kidney, one kidney for a, um, for a iPhone they couldn't afford in high school. And so some, so some vanity would drive some kid to, Still, some other people's other people's iPhone. It's like a, I don't know. It's um, it's like symbol, of, um, high quality and um, vanity, I guess. That iPhone is phenomenal in China. Then I guess, right, and it's like there is a saying that if uh, it's funny saying that, um. Years before, if you uh, if you're holding an iPhone, you're playing cool. And nowadays, if you're not holding an iPhone, you're playing cool. Do you get it? Oh, I'm sorry, playing cool. If you right, if so, if you are you are showing off. So years, it was like you you are showing you you were showing off years ago. If you have an iPhone. Nowadays, if you don't have an iPhone, it's like an attitude that you you want to show that you are different from other people because because a lot of people if you go to the streets and and supermarkets like most people have iPhone. I was the and and before that, some of them uh, they were you know they they were um. Cut off the snacks, cut off the cigarettes, even cut off the um, proper dinner money for the for buying an iPhone. Because it's mostly it's, it's, it's more expensive than one's one month's salary for most people. Mostly, uh, yeah, mostly urban, but this, there's still, um, it's just mostly the same around the rural areas because now the rural areas also get materialized and people. Well, as, um, there was a, um, I went to my, uh, in college, I, co I, ha I had a college friend. I went to, I once went to, her hometown in a very distant area and people 
but still had the latest cell phone, smartphone, fancy gadgets like the city people. I was really impressed. It's like, it's like, um, if you get an iPhone, it's like a four months salary. It's like four months salary to buy an iPhone, or half a, half a year's salary to buy, to buy an iPhone. But they can afford that. I, I just don't know why. Yeah, she, she, um, she didn't see much, but she said they are, well, they cannot, they are more, they are less sophisticated than the city kids. They are, they are easier to, well, to please. And, uh, I guess because, um, in that village, there is not much material I don't know, available because you even can't find a decent supermarket or store to buy anything. So, I guess that's a reason. Uh, she didn't mention much about that. But she's... I think the, um... They uh, they they don't have that much of desire because for the material, for so they are much more you know they are happier. They mentioned that they are happier than the city kids because because this desire in in urban area is unlimited because you have unlimited material desire, but in a, but in a rural area. Is what you can imagine, what you ima okay, what can you imagine for, what you can imagine to get from the material world, it's limited. So they are, they're happier. It's like you know, it's like when you get older and older, you're much more um, difficult to get pleased because you want more that they, that they don't, yes, yeah, they don't have that yet. Did I have that in mind? Yeah, innocent was the word I want. Was the word in my mind? Uh, innocent, and she said she mentioned once that she was moving her apartment and to. And two kids, you know, um, volunteer to offer to help her to 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 clean the apartment and help her to move the you know stuff. She was really grateful and she was really happy to you know to for that. Yes, yes, they have and. And many, and many, but most areas on in this town have cable satellites, have satellite TV show right, right now. We, we can have, we can have uh, HBO HD, which is my favorite channel. Well, and uh, some, uh, some uh, AXN, uh, ANX, I'm sorry, I forgot, ANX is um, Asia TV channel. So you can get, well, you can get many channels as you like if you have money for, for the, you know, for the cable or for the satellite TV. Well, there's uh, the HBO channel we have is the um, mostly uh, movies. No, there's not much news except for some entertainment news. Oh, you mean the the show newsroom? Yeah, I yeah I saw I saw a uh, one episode. Is that 
which they were talking about Obama, and yeah, but I I, I didn't I didn't have time much time for TV nowadays. I haven't been watching TV for like months. Yeah. Yes, but they wouldn't go much public because the government wouldn't like there to be publicized. And I, I was shocked by one one friend Twitter, which um, and you see, you can see it's a microblog. It's not like Twitter, and we have this um, uh, app, this smartphone app. We we can send out message just like Twitter. I saw that. Sign and uh, it's not signer. It's um, it's Weixin. It's Weixin. It's um, it's it's um, it's now is a company of Tencent QQ Messenger. It's um, well they copied, they are copycat of MSN, but they they improved some features. They got much bigger, and it's like mainstream. It's like mainstream app application. In our, uh, in our our in our cell phones, and well, anyway, it's like Twitter. You get a message, you get the latest um, message update from your friends. And I saw a I saw news that the um, there is something. Uh, there was there was like something like that in the next the next province in Henan in Henan, and I. It's like um, I guess it's like months ago, two months ago. Well, they um, they said that many of uh, many of the households were they were kidnapped, they were, they were kidnapped at um, at midnight, at you know out of the blue, and they got covered by by uh, bags or they, they get dragged out of the house, and the house get turned turned down before they can even. Realize what what's going on. Yes. Right. Yeah. And we see most people wouldn't like the house to tear down because the government wouldn't give them a good offer for I don't know an alternative um, plan for the housing. So they will stay. They they call is um. Who, which means um, literally means now household. That's it's just like a now, but um, it will stick there. They wouldn't like to move any anywhere unless the now um, N A um, N A L. I'm um, sorry. It's um, yeah yeah now now now. I'm sorry. No, it means uh, the it means the uh, household who wouldn't like to move to other um, other place and give up the land for the government, mostly because they don't get the good um, alternative plan um, for the from the government. And uh, if because if the government would want your land. They want to have to down. They will offer twice of the and um, the, the area of your house, or three or three times of the area of your house, or offer you a uh, really a lot bigger a lot of money for you. But if um, but if the government don't do that, or there is no there is no agreement settled down, then they will do something like that. Like drag you out of, drag you out of your house in the middle of the night in your dreams and tear down the house. So, well, 
Well, people can, well, people mostly um, express the indignity, the 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 ang anger around websites or you know microblog or the um or the application on cell, on cell phone. People know that, but and there's so much there's so much there's not much we can do for that. So. Yes, she has a dog. Yeah, she has a dog, right. It's from, it's from a relative. Yeah, that's uh, that's the thing, you know, because microblog is is a new it's a new bad word. It's the recently populated um, and po popular thing for young people, and it was. Um, but I think they are they are getting there. The government is getting there to interfere with this message anyway. May you have some yes, if you have uh, some senses you know since your words, you can't publicize your tweets your, 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 your. so that would be um, this that would be the fundamental um action to block some 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 message the government wouldn't like to see so that's but they have some ways to, you know, to bypass this kind of, you know, block if you really want to say something against uh, the government. Like you use some, and um, like what I used before uh, within our email respondent, I can use some um, strange, you know, country mark to, you know, to uh, to divide our, uh, yeah. So, so the server or the program wouldn't recognize that. Uh. Um, I think, well, it depends, it depends, um, actually, I, I think they would, you know, cut some snack for the, cut some slack for the censorship, maybe some days, um, if we, uh, if we work hard for the democracy, however, it wouldn't really fundamentally change anything. It wouldn't make some fundamental difference to that because you're not free speaking. Uh, it's not a... Well, this would be so... Um, so, well, it's obvious that it's, it's, uh, fundamentally it's not a thing. It's not a thing for this country. For our country. We can't just... Um, there is even for well it, even around the culture level you can't see anything you want uh, other than you cannot you cannot because being mature means you have to you know um, keep your mouth shut and or say some useful words so well. You wouldn't do that when you are older and older in this culture. But I...
and shouldn't have had um well, Taiwan I guess the Taiwan issue is always a sensitive the insensitive word. Well you can talk that well it's not so um you can talk that privately but publicly it wouldn't be so proper and they kind of well people kind of avoid avoid that. They kind of avoid that unconsciously or subconsciously. It's just like yeah, it's like taboo and they kind of well, they wouldn't know they know that but um there's much they can do about it, so they just keep it to the self to themselves. And Tibet and and um Xinjiang, the you know, the West areas. And uh, some corruption corruption issues and let's see for this uh, kind of sensitive area you wouldn't like to get in. Um, but privately it's okay. It's okay to talk about that. The and around the dinner table they like to talk about this thing that and yes, um, it's like casual talk. It's like casual talk, and not. I don't think the, I don't think the um, and official officials, the officers from the government would do that. But um, that's our ordinary people would like. Well, I I I can I can hear some of them, like the. Like uh, last time I waited my friend in Wuhan and his father is talking about the 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 new chairman and and the you know the corruption before the his in in indignation. In accuration is that what that should be in accuration, right, the word for It's, it's nothing much. I can do that later. But, um, I kind of, um, you know, and it means some. I, I, I mean, I mean, I mean the, the, the word for the new chairman's tenure's beginning, which, and. Yes, I guess so. Well, anyway, can't language kind of go rusty and I don't know. <laughs> um, he obviously had this um, idea that the government conceived something that they're not they're not telling the truth about the corruption. And there's some, some you know, some black box operation for this um, for this uh, election because it's so predictable. It's so predictable who will be the next chairman um, before the election. So it's like no doubt, no surprise, and. What was that? I'm sorry, the uh, signal is not ready. Um, and the the people don't they don't elect the um they don't vote for the uh, leaders directly. They they vote for a representative for one. Um, town or one city or one province, and this with yes, right, yes. I don't think so. I don't think it would change so fast. Well, 
even though they have some policy around this fundamental, this foundation, it, we can't change the foundation in a short time, in a time. Um, for ordinary people, yes, but for my friends like uh, who is in the army, we can, or in the who in the, you know, uh, in the security department, they they need approval from the supervisor. If you are, if you are connected to some national security, um, stuff or like policy or like my, like um. One, my, my friend's brother, who's in the army, and he studies, um, he studied missile, we we weapon, some, some advanced weapon, so, and he said he couldn't go abroad or some, um, other areas even w without the permission from his supervisor. Yes, yes, because I'm nobody, and if you're nobody, you cannot do anything you want. Yes, that's always been an issue for a long time, but nowadays they're trying to solve this problem by get more open policy for the migrant workers' children to get education. They, um, but, but some public school, they still need you to have the residents, um, the local residents, which is called Huko. You, need, you still need the residents to, to, to enroll in this um, particular school. But some... Uh, mm -hmm. But some, but some schools which um, you know, which are funded, which are funded by companies, private like private schools, they they wouldn't need that. And that is probably a little bit more expensive to to have it in there. Yeah, I remember. Right. She, yes, because um, because his parents is kind of and the parent. I think the parents are migrant workers. And her grandma mentioned that. Um, well, I do hope I do hope our generation can make some difference to the to the current um policy. I mean the democracy, and uh, I hope that the materialism wouldn't be so such a, such an issue like um, right now. For if it had been an issue for like for a few years, people was. My southern atmosphere is so, you know, it's like full of the scent of money, and I don't really like that. And people get so realistic with so-called um, materialism driven that they forgot much of the inner world, some innocence. I think this, I, I think you can call this, this generation is the generation with that much innocence, innocence, yes. Um, lost, lost him. But, I see, probably I am too idealistic 
or for the sun for change or or I guess you could say they accept this value because fundamentally unconsciously they accept this value they accept this social value that you have to be realistic you have to have money for anything otherwise you are not successful you are not you're just nobody otherwise but I guess that's the reason so I am struggling so I am always struggling with this it's my values and my my beliefs and my faith 